Hi, my name is Ed Bender. I'm the president of RV Whisper, and I got to demonstrate to you how to use the RV Whisper temperature monitoring system to help ensure the safety of your pets in your RV. So let's start with the sensors. This is a temperature and humidity sensor. It's a wireless sensor. You can have up to 10 of these in your RV. They're powered by a uh, very common coin cell battery and the batteries last about a year. So you can use some Velcro, uh, pr provided Velcro, stick these wherever you want in the RV. I have one in my indoor space for the pet temperature. I have one in an outdoor uh, bay for outdoor temperature. I got one in my refrigerator, one in my freezer. I have one in my wet bay. Uh, so I get temperature and humidity data from multiple locations in the RV. This is a battery sensor. So this clips your battery leads, red to positive, 12 volts, and black to your ground. It measures the battery voltage and battery temperature, and it uh, wirelessly transmits data to the monitor station. Again, you can have up to 10 of these if you want in your RV. Really, uh, I only see up to one or two of these. If it's a motorhome, of course, uh, they'll have two battery banks, and so you would want two of these to monitor both separate battery banks. This is the monitor station. Uh, it's a very powerful computer. It just plugs into USB for power. It comes with Velcro, so you can stick it uh, on a wall somewhere that's convenient to your, your, uh, your USB power. It collects the data from your various sensors. It stores the data inside this computer, and the data is made available through a web interface. This monitor station connects to Wi-Fi that uh, you would provide in your RV, and that Wi-Fi needs to have internet access if you want to have remote access to the data and remote uh, email and text message alerts. So again, this is a monitor station that stores the data and uh, provides uh, views into the data through a web browser. So once you have these up and running in your RV, this is what the system looks like. In this case, I have an iPad, I've connected to the system over the internet, and I'm looking at the data. But any smartphone will work, it's just a browser uh, to display the data. You can even use a laptop or desktop computer if that's what you, you want to look at. So you can see here that I have um, uh, the, the, the summary dashboard. I have the temperature data inside my RV of 74. I have an outdoor sensor for temperature. I have a refrigerator and freezer thermometer. And you can see the date that this, was, uh, this, this web page was built. It has a date and timestamp. And also, we can see this indoor temperature is very important. Um, the temperature sensor readings are taken every five minutes. And so this timestamp, the data I'm looking at, is from 3.17 PM. But that's not the current time. Let me update the screen here. And we see that the latest data point is actually three, is now 3.22 PM. So it's important to, to know that the data is timestamped. And whenever the data is displayed, especially the temperature data, the timestamp is displayed along with that temperature sensor data. So again, five minute data. Um, and the timestamp is displayed with that. You click on the data, it very easily shows a graph over the last three hours as the default. If you want to choose the last uh, day or two, it's very easy to select a different time frame and graph up a, uh, over time. So you can see we were traveling, it hit 95 degrees, almost 95 degrees. We got to the RV park, plugged in, air conditioner has been keeping us fairly comfortable since then the last day and a half. So very easy to log data and to graph up the data. Let me go ahead and go back to the dashboard page. And the same thing for the freezer temperature fridge, I can get graphs over time. Uh, the battery voltage data, I can go click into that. Again, you get a three hour default time period. Let's go look at a few days in the past. And you can see the effects of uh, having solar panels. Uh, as the sun comes up, the voltage goes up uh, for a few hours and then it drops back down so the batteries don't get uh, overcharged. So it's a great way to track uh, the voltage and temperature of the batteries, the battery state of charge, all that. So you know, great data. Uh, so the next part is, this is for viewing the data. It's great, you see the timestamps every five minutes. The data is never more than five minutes old. Uh, but then there's powerful alerting that's easy to set up and use. So right now there's an alert that's active. I have this fridge is warm alert that's active, but it's been acknowledged, so it's not notifying me anymore. Um, but it's still in an alert condition. There are other triggers that are set, other alerts that are set. If you notice, I have uh, an alert called very hot in RV which is set to if the indoor temperature sensor gets above 90 degrees for five minutes, then the very hot in RV alert gets triggered and it emails and sends text messages to multiple people. And I have a separate alert on the same sensor that's called hot in RV at a, if it's greater than 86 degrees for 15 minutes, it notifies a different set of people. And I have a warm in RV 
um, which is just a, a 79 degree threshold, and it's sent to fewer people. Uh, so, so it's nice you can set multiple thresholds, multiple alerts on the same sensor uh, to you know, notify you when things are getting warm, hot, or very hot, and then have other uh, uh, alerts. And so now with uh, this last uh, alert I created, I call it shore power is off. I find it to be very valuable. Basically when your RV is plugged into shore power or if your generator is running, your battery voltage will be above, either at or above 13.2 volts because the batteries are being charged. If you lose shore power or your generator power, your battery voltage will drop below 13.0 volts. And so I have an alert set, if my battery ever falls below 13.0 volts for one minute or longer, that I will be sent an email and a text message. And that happened to me two weeks ago. I was at an RV rally. I was working with some customers and I got a text message in an email that told me my shore power was off. I told the customers I had to go. I went right to my RV and sure enough, the shore power was off. A breaker had, had uh, flipped in the pedestal. Uh, I was able to open uh, the doors and turn on the vent uh, to keep the dog safe. It wasn't that hot of a day, but I had the RV all closed up with the air conditioner on. If I had left the dog in there with the air conditioner off, it would have got very hot after 30 or 40 minutes. So by having this shore powers off alert, I, it gives me an early warning system and it worked and I'm very grateful that I had that set up. So anyway, that's the RV Whisper quick demo. Thank you for your time. I hope this was useful to you.